Tyrell Malassia is expected to miss the entire season for Manchester United because of injury. So what on earth has happened to him? In this video, we're going to piece together a chronological timeline of everything regarding Malassia in order to find out what's actually gone on. Because it's confusing. Man United have had injury problems all season. Lissandro Martinez, Luke Shaw, Mason Mount, and of course, Tyrell Malassia. And it's the Malassia one which is the most confusing and probably the most concerning, I think, for United fans. And what I want to do, as I said in the intro, is piece together everything that's been said dating back from August last year, running through it in order to try and see what's actually really happened. Because Malassia, right? You take a look at his injury record at United. He didn't miss a game last season. Going back to Feyenoord, injuries were never really a massive problem for Malassia. Fitness, strength was never a problem. It's actually a strength of his. Now we go here. This is when we had confirmation that he was going to miss the entire preseason tour. And then on the 11th of August, Eric Ten Hag gave an update ahead of the game against Wolves and said this. He said that Malassia was still suffering from an injury sustained last season. And that ruled him out from Wolves. Malassia's injury will take some time. The same as Ahmad and Kobe, they are impact injuries. So he said it was going to take some time. And everything that has been said really from the start suggests it is a knee injury. But there's more to it than that. Now, Eric Ten Hag gave this update a couple of weeks later, right, on those three players that were injured. 25th of August, he said this about Manasir. It's going to take a few weeks before he is going to be back. And then it was more than a few weeks. So we're going from here on the 25th of August, September, nothing. Not much in October until the end of it where we get first footage of Malasia doing some solo training work at Carrington, 23rd of October. And we're thinking, good, all right, Malasia, he's back on the training pitch. It might only be isolated individual training sessions, but it's good to see him playing with the ball on the pitch. That points towards him coming back soon. Never mind, November goes past, diddly. 1st of December comes round and we get an update here. That he suffered a setback during his rehabilitation, which required further surgery. And a big word there, further surgery. Up until this point, we hadn't really had any sort of confirmation of any surgery. And this is what it sounds of it as what happened, has, is what's happened with Malassia, sorry. Is that he had surgery on a knee injury that's gone wrong and had to have more surgery on it. And there's more to it than that. We continue down here. So we fast forward from the 1st of December, saying he's had more surgery. Go to the 31st of January. How's he getting on? Is he going to be back? He said, Victor Lindelof is back in training, team training. Others like Tyrell Malassia, they're on the grass. Not ready, but I don't think it takes too long. So what's that? A couple of months after the surgery on the 1st of December. Next update on the 31st of January. A couple of months. Okay, fitness-wise, he's improving. He's getting closer. Oh, we might actually see him here. You know, there's even more positive news on the 15th of February. Malassi is closing in on a return to action. Okay, good. What's the update here? He had setbacks during his rehab process. It takes too long. It's bad for him. It's bad for us. But now we've turned a point. And it's positive. That's what Eric Ten Hag said. He will return soon on the pitch. I don't think then it will take long before he's back in team training. So on the 15th of February, we get some really positive news. It's been he's missed the entire season so far through injuries, but he's going to be back. Nah, never mind. No, he's not. Right. Okay. Madison is not expected to play at any point this season for Manchester United. An update that happened three weeks later on the 8th of March. And this is what Eric Ten Hag said. All right. I think it's going to be difficult for him to play for him this season to be available. He will fight, he's back on the pitch, but not in the team. And the process had some setbacks for him. And he's still going forwards really slowly. And the season is coming to an end. A further confirmation here from Mark Critchley from The Athletic that he's not played all season due to a knee injury, surgery on a knee injury in the summer. And then he suffered a setback during that rehab process, which required further surgery. And that seemingly is what has happened and what has happened with Malassia. And there's bigger questions to ask about that because that's massively concerning. Now, this injury to Malasia, it wouldn't have been as bad for Manchester United had Sergio Regulon stayed at the club. And this is what I mean when you go deeper. It just, it gets more confusing because Eric Ten Hag let Regulon go back to Spurs on the recommendations of Manchester United's medical staff who told him that Luke Shaw and Malasia would both be fit by January is what Ten Hag said. I think it's a good question. In December, I had talks internally with the medical and performance staff. They assured me that they will both be fit in January. And so you will have two left 
fullbacks. Then you got a third one with Regulon. So that's why Regulon left. That's not on Eric Ten Hag. That is on Manchester United's medical department. So they told Eric that Malasia was going to be fit only for him to be ruled out for the entire season. Something's gone wrong there. We've gone from this announcement here on the 15th of February that he's closing in and returning to action. That's after the... So he's had surgery, then further surgery, and that's him coming back from that surgery. And between the 15th of eight, February and the 8th of March, never mind, he's actually going to miss the entire season. It is ridiculous, right? Gary O'Driscoll was brought in as the head of sports medicine, brought in from Arsenal, headhunted. Man, this entire medical department, what on earth are they doing? All right, because this is not the only person this has happened to this season at our club. Lissandro Martinez had a metatarsal injury, came back, never really quite looked himself, did he? Never really did. But he was past fit to play by the medical staff. He then had to have further surgery. And then, of course, the freak in, uh, incident with Kufa was completely separate. But Martinez had an injury, had rehab, was past fit by the medical staff, wasn't fit, needed further surgery. Manasseh had surgery at the start of the season, had a setback in that surgery. Something might have gone wrong in that process or the process was wrong. One of those two things. Had further surgery, was then told that he was closing, well, we were told he was closing in an action and then another injury has happened. Something else has happened to set that process back even further. It's a joke. It really is a joke. And it's even more of a joke when you see this, right? Urien Timber, first, on his, was it on his debut? Ruptured his ACL for Arsenal. 16th of August. Urien Timber is now back available for Arsenal. Yet, here we are, sat, watching Tyro Malasia, a player who didn't miss a game for United last season, a player who, look, in the last three or four years has only missed a few games through injury, is set to miss an entire season for Manchester United because of injury. And the fact that Luke Shaw has been injured as well and the fact that Lissandro Martinez has been injured too, that whole left-hand side has been ripped at the seams. Add in the fact that Regulon was sent back to Spurs because our medical staff, that's, that's, my, that's the core of my frustration here, has to be what on earth of the medical department of Manchester United doing. Ten Hag will be going on the recommendations of him, of them. Now, I know that Ten Hag's style of play and the way that we're leaving so much space, it exacerbates these injuries, muscular injuries. The likes of Shaw, Mason Mount's been out for four months. But this Matasea one, even though I pieced it all together there, you can still see there's just certain parts of it where you go, that doesn't quite match up. And the fact that kind of Ten Hag has been a bit vague on it the whole season. Oh, it's only an injury from last season. He'll be back in a couple of weeks. He's all right. I don't know. Something does a stunning, still doesn't match up about it. But what a ridiculous situation. The Madison is going to miss the entire season when Yuri and Timber can rupture his ACL and come back before Madison. Something doesn't add up. <laughs>